see if they have any. This. don't care that's that's the whole thing they think it's nothing how is this nothing how is me in the first dumpster of the day finding two bags filled with cereal dust nothing cereal dust it's what's left behind after you pour that last delicious bowl of cereal but if it's so delicious why wouldn't you eat all of it once the salad pieces are gone we throw the bag away Maybe it makes your cereal too sugary, or maybe it ruins the consistency of your milk. Was that a good enough reason to contribute to the 2.7 million gallons of cereal dust thrown away each year? My name is Tom Goulet, and it seems like I'm the only man in America who has big enough balls to try and fix this problem. The world is depending on me. So I decided I'd go out and hit the streets. Hi, how's it going? Good, how about you? I'm good. I'm making a documentary about cereal dust. Do you guys eat cereal in this house? I don't like cereal. More about the protein and eggs. <laughs> Does it have to do with like the dust at the bottom of the bag that makes the cereal taste bad that you don't like it or is it for something else? No, it's just like sweet and not very nutritious, mostly. Although we did have a lot of that dust spill in our locker room. It is Cereal dust? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very weedies. Did you guys just throw it out? Well, I mean, it got spilled onto the floor. So, like, yeah, it looks okay. like, yeah. I mean, it was, like, dirty. Like, you wouldn't want to eat spilled. You we understand what you're saying, though. You yeah. Like, recycle, and because there's a lot of people that study food. It is a problem. Right. Hi. Hi. Hi, how's it going? It's going well. How may I help you? I knocked on both your doors. I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. Uh, I have a question. Do you eat cereal in this house? Yeah. Do you eat the cereal dust? No, I just don't like it, and I don't like it with milk. I just, it's dry. I don't know what to do with it. What I'm trying to do is to go around and get people to save the cereal dust that they would be throwing away and collect it so that I can recycle it in some way. I'm handing out these little signs to help you remember to save the cereal dust. Okay. And in two months, I want to come back and pick up the cereal dust that you saved. I doubt if you're going to get enough to make it worth your while, worth your while, worth your while, worth your while. I had to find a better way to get people's attention. Everybody, my name's Bruce, and I'm about to make a big bowl of cereal. Oh, the bag's empty. Gotta go get a new box and throw this bag away. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold it right there. What? 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 Who are you? I'm Danny, the dust detective. I'm here to make sure you don't throw any of your cereal dust away. But Danny, I don't like cereal dust. Well, maybe you don't like the taste of cereal dust, but there are a lot of people in this world that don't have any food at all. You can't go around wasting perfectly good food when there's people dying of hunger. So, what do you want me to do with it? Well, there's a lot of things you can do with cereal dust. <clears throat> This right here is sand art made from Trix and Fruit Loop cereal dust. Wow, that's really cool. Mm. What? Is that a sand castle? Close. It's a cereal castle. Wow! -ha I made it with Cheerio dust and water. Wow, 
I never knew you could do so much with cereal dust. I can't believe I used to just throw it away. I'm definitely gonna start saving my cereal dust from now on. And you all should too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have to be the only dust detective around here. Do your part. Save your cereal dust. Thank you. Hey guys. Hello. My name is Tom Goulet. Uh, I was doing the the voice of both the puppets. Um, I don't want the silliness of my puppet show to take away from the severity of this issue. There are millions of people without food right now, but each year the world throws away 2.7 million gallons of cereal dust. That's enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Actually, five Olympic-sized swimming pools. Next time you're about to throw away the cereal dust at the bottom of your bag, I hope that you remember this presentation and save your cereal dust. I know some of you guys might have seen chocolate chip cookies that I made, and I made enough for all of you guys, so if you want to take a cookie, they're really good. I switched out uh, the flour for Cheerios cereal dust, and I switched out the sugar with Frosted Flakes cereal dust. Um, do you guys have any questions? Is that like sort of the main contributor to food waste, or do you feel that there's a... If you think about five Olympic-sized pools filled with food, I'd say that's a main waste. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Puppet Show is a hit. And right as things were starting to look good, humanity took a huge fucking shit on my face. Tomorrow's supposed to be the day that I go into town and collect all the cereal dust that people have been saving for me. So I sent out an email saying that I'm gonna be coming by tomorrow and collecting the dust from them. And I already got two emails back. First one, Tom, please don't drop by. I'm not interested in being involved with your stunt any longer. Second email. Sorry, no dust at our house. Smiley face, sent from my iPhone. Can you get out? I'm just here to uh, collect some of the cereal dust. Do you have any? You don't have any? What's that? I'm here for the cereal dust. Hi. How are you? Do you remember me? No. I'm sorry, I didn't get very much. Oh, that's plenty. Thank you so much. Every ounce counts. Well, that's what you told me, and I remember, and I thought, this is so foolish. I hope it helps you. It does help so much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. You too. I went to about 25 houses today, and one person saved their cereal dust. Uh, it was an old lady who actually didn't 
think that my idea was such a good idea in the first place, and she ended up being the only one that saved the dust. The idea was to take all of the cereal dust that people have collected and give it to a homeless shelter in town. But there's obviously not enough now to do that. Luckily, I've been saving my own cereal dust for the past year or so, so I have something to give. It won't be a feast, but it'll be something. Facing the scale over there. cereal dust and water and I want to get my vitals checked mm -hmm. and then compare that to the end of the week and see if the diet's a healthy diet. Uh, why would you ever do such a thing? A lot of people um, think that cereal dust is just kind of like a waste of a food mm -hmm. and so they throw it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to prove that it actually has nutritional value and that, that I can go a whole week eating it and um, mm -hmm. and be mm -hmm. totally fine at the end of the week. Have you heard of anyone who's done this diet before? No, I have to say no. I've never heard of anybody doing that. So you don't know for sure that it's unhealthy? Well, you can tell somewhat by the nutrition label on the package because um, it's going to be limited to what's on that nutrition label or less. In terms of adequacy of calories and protein and carbohydrates and fat, and uh, trace minerals and all the vitamins, etc. It's safe to say that uh, it's not a balanced diet. Okay, well, yeah, we'll see. Uh huh. Thank you. See you later. Good morning. Eight hours into the diet, feeling no negative effects. Feeling good, not hungry, not tired, ready to start the day. One thumbs up. Mmm. Cookie crisp goes really good with life. That's pretty good. some coffee fruit loop style oh yeah that's the good stuff add some frosted flakes dust for sugar not bad my lips are a little chapped I don't know if that's from the diet or not I don't think it is. I think I'm just feeling bad today. God damn it. Ugh. Ugh. I'm so hungry and I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm 
There's gotta be something in cereal dust that causes depression or something. What have I done? What have I done? I have to let people know the truth. <laughs>